It is a desperate mission, a small rescue flotilla searching a vast area of sea. Last night, a tiny boat carrying what's thought to be 700 migrants capsized somewhere between the Libyan coast and the Italian island of Lampedusa. So far, around 50 have been rescued, 24 confirmed dead, the remaining 600 plus, who knows? And desperation is etched on the faces of those who make it successfully to European shores. Many are seeking refuge from war and destitution, but migration has become a dirty word in the affluent north. What then for the humanitarian disaster that's now unfolding on Europe's doorstep, as leaders begin calling for action, starting with the Pope. I address a heartfelt appeal to the international community to act decisively and promptly to prevent similar tragedies from occurring again. We must act. I ask for an urgent meeting with all interior ministers and foreign ministers, a summit of these ministers, all the ministers of Europe. And a meeting will now take place tomorrow in Luxembourg, high on the agenda whether to expand the EU's rescue operation. In 2013, migrant arrivals to Europe by sea were around 60,000. But after two major tragedies, Italy launched its humanitarian naval operation, Mari Nostrum. In 2014, the number of migrants soared to over 200,000. Italy responded by ending Mari Nostrum. It was replaced by a much more limited EU operation called Triton. Last year, the number of migrants who died between January and April was just 15. This year, it's already 950, and that was before last night's disaster. Italy decided to scrap their rescue missions because they were blamed for encouraging migration. But the UNHCR says by far the biggest problem is the war in Syria. The push factors in the Mediterranean are far stronger than the, than the pull factors. And we see that in the numbers of those that are arriving. More than 31 per cent are Syrian refugees. But whether fleeing conflict or just seeking a better life, still they risk all to get to Europe. Last year, nearly 4,000 died on the way. And this year is already looking far worse.